these are all the files that I had saved in preparation for the test, whether they be reference material that I brought to the test, whether it be videos and PDFs of something I studied for the test. So this is the index that I used to um, find the problems on the day of the test. Here's the school of PE, all the PDFs and videos that they gave me. Here's an ASCE two-hour test which had videos and PDFs. Similarly, here's an older Texas A&M, 62 hours of videos and PDFs that they went through in preparation to study for the test. Here are some example exams that I either downloaded or found online or scanned from books. And here's reference material. So if they said you're going to need a certain reference book on the test, an OSHA manual, for, for example, I didn't want to bring the actual book. I just found the PDF and brought that. So let's go through everything. Um, first, I'm going to start with the School of PE because I think that's the best one. It had the most comprehensive questions on there. So what they gave you was PDFs, and there's three types. There's the refresher notes, the workshop problems, and the workshop solutions. So for each section, so that's water. The refresher notes was kind of like a uh, textbook where you could go through and they would give you uh, the definitions and how how things were calculated and things like that. Not really example problems per se, just the concepts. The next things were the workshop problems. And this is where you could go through and try to solve these yourself. So it would say problem and it would give you a type of problem that was on the test. Again, this is important. These are the types of problems that were on the test and you could go through and try to solve them. Then they had workshop solutions and this is those same problems with the answers highlighted. Now using that, I used the School of PE videos. You could go to Water Resources, and this is where an instructor would show you how to do these problems. Yes, the last set of workshop problems. So I would go through and the teacher would actually show you how to solve these problems. They would mark up the plan, they would highlight it, circle things, and show you how to solve these, where the tricks are, where they try to trip you up on the test. They would say things like, this is on the test, or this might be a different, different type of units. So this is where the teacher would actually show you how to solve the test, and you could go through it with your PDFs. Not quite as good, is, but it's free, was the ASCE two-hour. Same thing, where they would have... PDFs that you could open up and follow along, you would have this open as the teacher would go through and show you how to, how to answer them, kind of like sitting in a refresher test or an example class where a teacher would show you how to do this. These were great to just follow along so you're not trying to learn it on your own. Again, not quite as good, but this is the Texas A&M 62-hour um, class. Again, this was free online when I took it. And same thing, there would be PDFs. These weren't quite as good, quite as polished as the other ones. But these are example problems that you would go through. And they have the videos for them as well. And it's a teacher, and he would go through and show you how to answer all these problems. Again, this wasn't quite as good as the other two, but it was still worth watching. Next are the um, exams. Now, some of these were exams that I scanned myself. For example, this is an exam booklet that I purchased, and I scanned all the problems just to have it. So I had all the problems here, and in the back are all the solutions. Again, here's, here's another older exam. Um, same thing. It has... This is a booklet you can buy. We scanned it, and it has all the problems and solutions. And I have exams from 2000, 2008, 2011, 2014, and 15. Here's another book. You can see I purchased it, and we scanned everything. That's my handwriting that I wrote in there. And I went through and tried to answer all the problems. So I had the booklet, but I also had it scanned in case I needed to print it and put it in a binder. So these are all the different practice mornings, afternoons. I took afternoon construction, so it, so it was good to have the PM construction or transportation, things like that. And there was a lot of um, example problems that you can get online for free. So there would be, you know, um, let me find a good one. So a lot of these places would give example problems. 
So it might only be five or six or 10 questions to show what would be in the book. I downloaded all those and put them in there as well. So everything I could find, example tests, I would, I would put in here. Here again, this is a, something we found online. It said sample exam, and it was five or six questions. Throw that in there and try to solve them. Even NCES, they gave out, you know, every couple weeks when you sign up for the test, they would say, hey, here's some example uh, practice exams from our practice booklet. I would download those, put them in there. And I remember this one, something like this, was on the test. So that's the key, finding problems that are going to be on the test that you can practice solving and save and find during the test to reference them. And before I get to the references, let me go to the index. So the index is what I created. This is the spreadsheet of every example problem alphabetically. So I went through and put uh, the keyword, which book it's in, uh, sorry here, which section of the test it's in, which book it's in, which page. So if I found a question and it was about, I don't know, you know, if I saw a problem and it said using the Hayes and Williams loss coefficient, I could say, okay, it's in the Hydrox ASCE two hour class, here's what page it's on. If there's something about a horizontal curve or horizontal distance, you can see all the different problems I had here. Oh, it's in the transportation section, this exam. So creating this spreadsheet helped me study for the test and it also gave me something like an index on the day of the test. And I sorted it once I had this overall index into these different books. So I sorted it by school of PE construction, different uh, exams, the ASCE two hour into the different sections. And that's what all these PDFs are up here. So for school of PE, I sorted it into each different section. So when I knew I was in that section on the test, if I wanted to find something about coefficient of curvature, or coefficient of gradation, I could come here and say it's on page N8 and I could quickly find it. This was key being able to find the problem. You knew you had seen it before. You go in here and you say, you know what the keyword is? You know, the penetration or standard penetration test. I could go in here and say it's, it's in this booklet, it's on this page. Being able to find it, that was key, making this index of where everything is. Because you might have an example test, but if you can't find the example problem, it doesn't help you. So I made indexes for all these different tests. So I have all the tests, I have all the, the things to study with here. And then last I had references. So a lot of people would bring books to the test. So they might bring this type of manual, it might be a book that they have sitting on their test. The key is to keep your desk clear of clutter. So if you only needed a certain section, maybe you can find that online. So maybe you can find this certain OSHA accident report form and you need that for the test, just find the PDF and print that out. Maybe you need an OSHA book. Instead of bringing this book to the test, just print out what section you need. Print it off, you know, four to a page, one, two, three, four, and bring that to a test in the binder. You know, here's, I knew I had a problem on crane hand signals. This came up on the test. So just print out that one sheet, put that in a binder. So you don't want to bring the entire booklet to the test. Just print out what section you need. ASE design load. So just Find the PDF, print that out, put it in a binder so you can find the definition um, if you need it. So this was all in one big binder, that large binder. These are all the references I had. So these are just all the files that I had saved and I printed some of them. I studied with some of them. Again, these ones in the middle, the ASE 2-hour, the, the 62-hour Texas A&M, and the, especially the School of PE. Those are the things I printed off, it had example problems, and I studied and I use those example problems on the test. Here are the exams that I practice the exams, references, and the index. So these were the files that I had on the computer.